Hey, what is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza, KRT Life with the Y, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. And today, I'm doing another vlog that I had no clue that I was going to be doing until earlier today. Changing this, whatever that is, hanging off of this BMW. With those parts over there, coming up next. Yeah, I've been cleaning my garage all day and one of my friends hit me up, actually one of my best friends I've known since kindergarten and said, oh man, we've bashed up our BMW, can you help out? So I said yes, because that's the type of friend that I am. So now I find myself here, faced with this daunting uh, problem in front of me. So I have some parts over here, direct from BMW. Ugh. And uh, it is the replacement um, side mirror for this car. And what I'm going to do is, Oh wow, uh, I hope it has all the parts because I see that this cap is missing and that this actual mirror glass piece is missing and that part is broken. Uh, so hopefully we have everything we need to make this work. Uh, fingers and toes crossed. And I gotta talk to my friend off camera now and figure out, do we have all the parts to make this work? <laughs> All right, so after confirming with my friend, we do have all the parts to make this work. And this is a very common issue. And I wasn't going to vlog this at first because I was just gonna change it real quick for him. But he was like, hey, this happens a lot. You should probably vlog this. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll make it to a vlog. But anyway, typically the way that you do this is there's usually three uh, screws right here that go into your mirror and connect your mirror to your A-pillar area on the door panel on most modern vehicles. Most of the time to do this, sometimes you can get away with just uh, taking apart the um, upper triangle area of the door and don't have to remove the entire door card to do this. But sometimes you do have to remove the entire door card. Hopefully in this situation, we won't have to remove the entire do door card and we can just pop off the little speaker area, uh, pull the screws loose and make our electronic connections and screw everything back together. So fingers and toes crossed, hopefully this will be a relatively quick uh, repair. Here we go. Okay, so I just looked at the design of this uh, door trim and it looks like this piece right here is one solid piece that goes up and all the way around the door to the back side of the door. So hopefully I don't have to remove the actual door card area over here. All right, y'all, so disregard what I said about not having to take the door card off. I think you might have to actually take the door card off. We're figuring it out. First thing I did was I popped this little piece of trim off right here, as you can see. And that revealed one, two screws right there that I know have to come loose to pull the door card off. There's another screw right there. And then there's two under that I'm gonna take loose. They are T20s. I don't know if you can see that because the lighting is wonky, but T20. And uh, yeah, I'm figuring this out as I go. I have not looked at any other DIY stuff to figure out how to do this. I'm just going based off past experience. So wish me luck. Okay, so we got the door card loose and uh, there are a lot of screws holding this thing on, more than meets the eye. There was um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, hold on. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's count that again. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total screws holding this thing on and a whole bunch of your uh, stereotypical, typical uh, tabs. And then there are also these little funky tabs up here that I had to get under the weather stripping and pry this way to pop that loose from the door card. So, I mean, not the worst door card to take off, but still a very annoying door card. More uh, fasteners than I feel like are necessary. But now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our electrical connection so this thing's just not drooping here. And then we're gonna work on taking this piece off so we can finally replace the uh, mirror on this 2019 BMW X6. <laughs> all right y'all door card is off and this little where it is is that it yes this little connector right here that controls the uh window switch boy whew, this thing did not want to come off everything else was very very straightforward though uh this is the one for your door latch very easy this one uh not really 100 sure what this one does i believe that this one is for lock and unlock and uh, illuminating the uh, fiber optic uh, illumination strips that are built into this door. And uh, yeah, other than that, it was pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, 
And I'm trying to do this without damaging anything because this is a very new car. Typically on really old cars, I just blow through this kind of stuff. But this I'm trying to do very, very carefully. So next on the list is I have to remove this piece of trim right here that goes across the top of the car to get to the three screws that hold the mirror in. So here we go, further down the yellow brick road. Mm. Man, I wish our office would be in the town somewhere. But we don't even have official one, but um, they're gonna probably do right next to Justin's. Career. Okay, so I have uh, removed this piece of trim. Now it has this little piece of uh, speaker wire that connects your mid-range to your tweeter. And I did not really feel like messing around with that because some of these uh, connectors are very difficult to remove for some reason. But anyway, now I have to remove these two uh, connectors right here that connect to the actual mirror assembly. And then there's one screw right here that's hiding behind this piece of weather stripping material, but it's very easy to pull this back. Another screw right here and another screw right there that need to be removed. This is a, yes, it is a uh, T27 Torx bit. So here we go. We're gonna pull these electrical connections out. Hopefully they come out, no? Yeah, relatively easy like that. And now we're gonna hit these three screws. All right, we're gonna go ahead and zip this thing out real quick. My lovely wife is on the other side to hold the uh, piece so it doesn't fall to the ground or damage the car. That's one screw. Two screw. One last one. That's three screws. Now, it should just pull off of there. The seal is stuck, so you have to just push. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes! Yeet, there it go! So this is your busted mirror assembly. How much does this thing cost you? 13, 1400. $13, $1,400 mistake right here. So please be very careful when you're driving in and out of your driveways, because yeah. This thing is pricely, especially on a new car like this. But we are almost at the, uh, well, we're definitely at the halfway point. All we gotta do is reassemble the new one and uh, yeah, get this party going. All right, y'all, we got the shiny new piece that's gonna be put on there. And I mean, it's literally the same thing in backwards order. You got your three screws, gonna plop on there just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and start making our connections, electrical and mechanical connections and put everything back together and uh, test this light and uh, hopefully it should work pretty darn fine and dandy. It's just not growing like too fast, but- It's all these like things that like- always needed. You're like, yeah, it's just do it yourself, right? Like, so if someone's like, oh, okay, I, can, I think I can do this myself yeah. if I just watch a YouTube video. Especially with this, like a simple, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's not super complicated. You're not there has to be modern stuff. thousands, if not millions of X6s out there. Mm -hmm. And there's gotta be a lot of people who've taken their mirror off. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> something like that. The thing is, most people are going to be like, screw that. I'm going to go straight to the dealership and let them sort me out. Well, I mean, like, what you, you know, we should find out, like, okay, how much does this cost? And then how much it would cost you at the dealership? Yeah. They, they, they quoted me, like, five hours at, like, $250 an hour oh or something God. like that. So, like. Five hours? And the, the, the part was, like, $1,400. So 250 times five, um, was it five? Yeah, it was five. Five hours seems to be a little bit excessive for take off the door panel to replace the mirror. I don't know. That's what like, what kind of mechanics do you work in there? They're gonna take you five hours, take it well, off and put it back Well, I was sent telling Wale was that they do that in order to cover their behinds. In case something goes in wrong. In case something goes wrong. Yeah, well that's yeah. messed up. <laughs> That's all. Uh, it is at any shop. I just noticed something kind of important. Um, this right here, these uh, these three um, holes that you're going to screw your screw in through the side of the door, they are not uh, actually uh, tapped. There is no actual threading inside of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap these right now. And uh, yeah, actually thread them right here with these actual the screws that came out. And then I can mount it because yeah, for some reason I didn't thread the inside of these um, holes. So there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hand tighten these, these the rest of the way because I do not want to damage the threads on a $1,300 mirror. So I don't wanna over torque them and like screw it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand tighten them the rest of the way. Okay, so there's two connections right here, two electrical connections, this one right here and that one right there and they are very easy to plug in they just plug in like so hopefully you can see this 
Booyah, and that other one's already in, and then your actual door latch connection, which is also really easy. In fact, it's so easy, I can pull it back off and show you real quick how this goes. All it is is this part right here. It loops up like that, and then you just go, boom, and that's it. Probably one of the easiest I've ever seen on any car, but everything else is harder than any other car. <laughs> Okie dokie kids, here we go. We're gonna put uh, this bit on right here. This is the plastic uh, bright chrome shadow uh, decorative piece that goes on this right here. All right, so this little predator helmet looking piece, we finally got it to clip on. It's on there properly. Yeah, if you look on the other side, it has that little space in between the two uh, materials. Uh, they're both plastic, but the one that looks like metal. Um, yeah, this thing is, you gotta line this thing up perfectly, like down the side of the car and slide it on this way. You can't really do it at an angle. It has to go like, like that. That's really the only way it can go on because there's so many little prongs in there. I have to do like this to get in there. So that's how I did it. All right, y'all, here we are at the home stretch. Um, there's two electrical connections right here that serve for the purpose of your heating your rear view mirrors. And uh, they connect to these wires right here i don't know if there's a polarity to them they're both yeah nothing's labeled so i guess you just connect them and then this piece right here just kind of clips on as you can see there's a whole bunch of clips around the perimeter of this uh circle and yeah you just kind of just press it into place and then all of them just go like that and bite around this little area and hold it in place how many engineers does it take to change a mirror <laughs> Former engineer. You're not an engineer anymore? <laughs> Once an engineer, always an engineer. <laughs> maybe two, maybe four. I don't know how many you need. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this on. Hold up. Okay, so that goes like that. Or like that, rather. Okay. So now we're going to just... We're going to just go ahead and clip these and leave the rest in Jesus' hands. Oh, right, we have this thing redone. I don't know if y'all remember how bad it looked in the video, but I can show y'all if my wife will hand me that. Yep. So this is what we started with. <laughs> and now this is, uh oh, <laughs> this is what we have. Uh, great improvement, I would think, yes? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and test functionality of everything. And we're going to make sure that uh, it's all working. This job, oh. So my boy Wale, Olu Wale, he said that I need to do degree of difficulty ratings in my uh, DIY, DIY videos. And I think I will rate this one a three out of five, maybe? I don't know, does that sound right? Medium. I think a three out of five. Well. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna test uh, functionality. So here we go. Okay, you turn the car on. All right, we're testing functionality now. You can see that the flashy bit works. Uh, try and move the mirror around. Oh yes, the mirror moves. Now, um, I saw that light up when you turned the car on. I don't know what that does though. That's probably near lane, whatever. Oh, that's the thing that yeah, tells you if something's in your blind spot, but I don't know how to make that turn on. But does it fold by itself or no? Uh, this, uh, Oh, look at that! By his grace, it is working! Ah. By his grace. So sweet! Grace. Ah. I am the man. I am the man! <laughs> okay, so this is finally done. It didn't really take too long. It took, what, maybe an hour? Two hours? Yeah, and I was going slow. We were catching up and talking and all that kind of stuff. Because we're socially distancing because we're responsible adults. But anyway, um, the things that I needed to do in this video. Very important stuff here. Okay, so I have these prying tools. They're the same thing, but I got two of them. You definitely need <laughs> you definitely need one of those or two of those. You really don't need one. Uh, I use a little small mini ratchet because it was just good and convenient to use this with my Torx bits. The two Torx bits that I used for this video was a T27 Torx bit and a T20 Torx bit and my handy dandy adjustable impact wrench. You don't have to use this, but it just makes uh, getting a lot of those uh, screws and stuff out that much easier. Um, outside of that, this vlog was pretty much a breeze and I didn't really feel like doing a vlog, but I was told that I should do a vlog because people need to be able to see this. And uh, yeah, a lot of people accuse us of making up stuff to vlog about, 
But our real life is crazy enough that we don't have to make up any vlogs. Believe that. We are Carity Life. Care to leave Carity Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that beautiful stuff. And if you destroy the mirror on your BMW or any other car, I guarantee you it's not the end of the world. It's pretty easy to fix. Peace. Oh.